Change will not come if we wait for some other person, or if we wait for some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. The best way to not feel hopeless is to get up and do something. Don't wait for good things to happen to you. If you go out and make some good things happen, you will fill the world with hope. You will fill yourself with hope. If you're walking down the right path and you're willing to keep walking, eventually you'll make progress. Focusing your life solely on making a buck shows a poverty of ambition. It asks too little of yourself, and it will leave you unfulfilled. I have always believed that hope is that stubborn thing inside us that insists, despite all the evidence to the contrary, that something better awaits us so long as we have the courage to keep reaching, to keep working, to keep fighting. You might be locked in a world not of your own making, her eyes said, but you still have a claim on how it is shaped. You still have responsibilities. It's only when you hitch your wagon to something larger than yourself that you realize your true potential. To those Americans whose support I have yet to earn, I may not have won your vote tonight, but I hear your voices. I need your help and I will be your president, too. At the moment that we persuade a child, any child, to cross that threshold, that magic threshold into a library, we change their lives forever for the better. To be known, to be heard, to have one's unique identity recognized and seen as worthy. It was a universal human desire, I thought, as true for nations and peoples as it was for individuals. My little girls can break my heart. They can make me cry just looking at them eating their string beans. The truth is, I've never been a big believer in destiny. I worry that it encourages resignation in the down and out and complacency among the powerful. I've got daughters, nine years old and six years old. First of all, I'm gonna teach them about values and morals. But if they make a mistake, I don't want them punished with a baby. But you don't choose the time. The time chooses you. Either you seize what may turn out to be the only chance you have, or you decide you're willing to live with the knowledge that the chance has passed you by. It was the call of workers who organized, women who reached for the ballot, a president who chose the moon as our new frontier, and a king who took us to the mountain top and pointed the way to the promised land. There's nobody to guide through the process of becoming a man, to explain to them the meaning of manhood, and that's a recipe for disaster. If the people cannot trust their government to do the job for which it exists, to protect them and to promote their common welfare, all else is lost. And it's safe to assume that those in power would think longer and harder about launching a war if they envisioned their own sons and daughters in harm's way. To those leaders around the globe who seek to sow conflict or blame their society's ills on the West, know that your people will judge you on what you can build, not what you destroy. Glory and tragedy, courage and stupidity, one set of truths didn't negate the other, for war was contradiction, as was the history of America.